One of the more popular videos on my channel is the video where I designed and 3D printed custom keycaps. Since this has more interest than most of my other videos, I wanted to make a tutorial to show you guys how to make your own custom keycaps without actually having to use any 3D design software. I used this method that I'm about to show to make the Baby Yoda keycap model that was in my video. However, I did design the base keycap based off of my own escape key, but since I already did that, you don't have to. If you scroll down and click the first link in the description, it will pull up my base keycap STL file that I posted on my Thingiverse. Feel free to follow me on there if you have an account, because I usually post the models I create in my videos over there. If you like tutorial style videos like this, be sure to like the video, subscribe if you aren't already, and comment below letting me know if you'd like me to do a more in-depth modeling tutorial. Anyways, download the base keycap STL from that link. The next step is to download another STL off of Thingiverse. This can be anything that you want. Files on Thingiverse are licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Licenses. I highly recommend that you look into what these licenses actually mean if you plan on using the files on Thingiverse for anything more than your own use. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to make a keycap of the probably, well, definitely dead meme of Bernie Sanders with mittens. You can search for whatever you want on Thingiverse or use the second link in the description to follow exactly what I'm doing. It gives you the option to tip the designer if you'd like to do so. Once you download the model off of Thingiverse, the next step is to use a software that is free with Windows 10 called 3D Builder. If you don't already have this installed, you can go to the Microsoft Store and get it for free. Once you have that installed, open up 3D Builder and click Open. The first file I'm going to open is the blank keycap. Make sure you have the file's unit set to millimeters up top, and then click Import Model. If it isn't oriented correctly, click on the keycap and click the rotate button, which is the second button from the left on the bottom of the screen. Grab the arrow on the top of the model and rotate it 90 degrees so that the keycap is flat and oriented properly. Then click the move button, which is the first from the left on the bottom of the screen. Drag the model downward until it snaps to the XY plane. The next step is to bring in our Bernie model or whatever model you're using. We do this by clicking add under the insert tab load object, and then locating the file. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is make it so he's sitting on the keycap. Using the scale button, which is the third from the left on the bottom, I can scale him down to the size that I want. Then, using move and rotate, I can position him how I want on top of the keycap. Once I'm happy with how I have the keycap, to merge this into one file, I have to click both of the objects, Bernie and the keycap, click on the edit tab, and then click merge. The two parts are now one and can be exported as an STL, OBJ, 3MF, or whatever you want. To do this, we click on the top left menu button, then save as, and under the save as type you can pick whatever you need, usually I use STLs for 3D printing, and then save it wherever you'd like. And just like that, you created your own custom keycap without having to truly model anything. Now what if you only wanted part of the model to be on your keycap? To show you how to do this, I'll make a keycap using only Bernie's head. Open up a new scene and place in the blank keycap and the model you want to add to the keycap. With the model that you want to cut selected, go over to the Edit tab and click the Split button. Now we can split the model. On the top, you can click to either keep what is above the cutting plane, below the cutting plane, or keep both what is above and below the cutting plane. For what I'm making, I'm going to keep the top. We can then move and rotate the plane as we see fit by dragging the green square up and down and rotating by grabbing and dragging the arrows. Once you're happy with your cut, click Split. Now by using Move and Rotate like we did before, we can position our section of the model, merge the two files, and create our keycap.
With this technique, you should be able to merge any free file you find online into a keycap. If you'd like me to make another video showing how to use modeling software such as Autodesk Fusion 360 to trace images, words, patterns, etc. onto the base keycap model that I created, leave a comment on the video and subscribe so you can check it out when I make it. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram so you can stay updated on all my current projects. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.